Hey, hi, good evening, Eulice. Hello, evening, teacher. How are you? Um, now I a little better. You're better? Yes, a little. Okay, all right. And what about your weekend? How was it? And my weekend was not good for me. Was not good? Because, Why? Because last last Friday I I couldn't be in the in class because I was very sick. Mm -hmm. So uh I didn't uh, write to you. Yeah. But I can. I didn't can. You, I couldn't. I couldn't. Yes, I couldn't. Mm -hmm. Um, but my my last Saturday, I went to the dog and okay. the dog gave me gave me the medicine and now I a little I feel a little better. Okay, that is good. So, but during the weekend, did you rest? Yes, I I, I could rest. Okay, and all right. Mm -hmm. Saturday on Sunday. Mm -hmm. So the two um, days? Yes, two days. All right, and did you go to work today? Yes, I... I how do you say it? I had to okay. I oh, had to. I, I had to, correct. Had you to. had to. Okay, you didn't have medical leave, right? So do you know how do you say incapacidad? I don't know. Medical leave. Okay. Ah, uh, medical leave. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. You didn't have medical leave? Uh no, uh, because uh it was a uh, Sunday and Saturday um and Sunday. Okay. All right. So, it's, so during uh, the weekend, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So me is días de descanso. Yeah. Are my day uh my days off? Uh huh. Are my day off? Okay. Perfect. All right. So I can see that we also have Rafael and Rose. How are you guys? How do you feel? What about your weekend? How was it? Did you rest? Mm hmm. Hi, good evening. Good evening, Rafael. So, did you rest during the weekend? Uh, more or less. Okay. I, I travel with my motorcycle. Oh, really? Yeah. In okay. the Sunday. No. See, on Sunday. Sunday? On Sunday? Yeah. Okay. Got it. And on Saturday, did you go to work? Yeah. In the... In the morning, in the I morning. I was in the work. Okay, I was at work. I was at work. Perfect. Okay, awesome. Uh, Rose, good evening. How are you? I saw that somebody wrote that uh, that person is going to be as a listener. I'm fine, teacher. You're fine. So, what about your yeah. weekend? Oh, well, uh -huh. I'm very good because I. I you rested? Yes, I rest. Okay. Very, uh -huh. very rest. Okay. I, I rested a lot. I rest a lot. Thanks. A lot. Okay. All right. That is cool. Okay. That is good because you feel with energy today then. Then um okay. Edwin, good evening. How are you? What about your weekend? How was it? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine, thank you. My weekend was, uh, enjoy it. I really enjoyed it that weekend. Okay, it was in entertaining, okay? Okay. All right, perfect, that is good. Okay, so let me see, we also have Raul, good evening. Let me see who else. Um, We have Hosman. Okay, guys, good evening, Hosman. how are you? Good evening, teacher. Hi, Gray. Good evening, teacher. 
Good evening, guys. Okay, what about your weekend? How was it? Good, so, so, tiring, relaxing, you could rest, you couldn't rest. Uh -huh. Relaxing. It was relaxing. Like it. Relaxing, yeah. Okay, so you are with all of the energy today. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I hope so. Okay, I hope so. I rest, I rest uh, in the weekend. Okay, all right. Perfect. Okay, guys. So, well, welcome once again. Okay, welcome to our 16th class. Today, actually, is our 16th class. It's the fourth week. Mm -hmm. So, we're almost done with, um, with this module. Okay, so today we are going to have warm up, then we are going to move to grammar. And today's topic is going to be passive voice. But we are going to study the passive voice in the simple present tense. Have you heard about passive voice before? Yes or no? You haven't heard about it? No. No? no. Okay. All right. But we are going to start with uh, the word map. Then we are going to move to the grammar. And we are going to study passive voice, simple present. And we are going to also study object pronouns because it is related to the topic. We also have a speaking time. We also have grammar quiz. We have the listening quiz. We have games and we have the end of our class. Okay. So the first thing that we are going to start with is a tongue twister. Okay. So as you can see right here, we have the tongue twister for today. This tongue twister is really easy, guys. Mm, can you hear me? Yes, I think that you can hear me. But I don't know if my internet is failing, okay? Just let me know if my internet fails, okay? So this one, guys, goes like this. Whether the weather is warm, whether the weather is hot, we have to put up with the weather, whether we like it or not. Yeah? So as you can see, it is whether the weather is warm, whether the weather is hot, we have to put up with the weather whether we like it or not, okay? Very good. So I'll give you 10 seconds for you to practice it. You alone, practice it. And then I'm going to ask some of you, okay? Okay, so we are going to start with, um, let me see, Carlos Arias, are you there? I'm here to show. Okay, perfect. Can you please read it? Where the weather is warm, where the weather is hot, where have to put up, put up with the weather, where 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 we like it or not okay yes um so so we need to improve on fluency okay but it's okay practice it okay uh, let me see raul go okay where the <laughs> where the weather is warm where the weather is hot we have to put up with the weather whether we like it or not yes very good. Okay. Well done. Uh, Eulise. Okay. The weather, whether the weather is warm, whether the weather there is not, we have to put on with the weather, whether we like it or not. Okay. Okay. Very good. Perfect. Uh, Hostman. Whether the weather is warm. Whether the weather is hot, we have to put up with the weather, whether we like it or not. Or not. Very good, Houseman. Yes. Rose. Whether the weather is warm, whether the weather is hot, we have to put up with the weather, whether we like it or not. Okay, very good, Rose. Okay, Rafael. Okay. Whether the weather is warm, whether the weather is hot, we have to put up with the weather, whether we like it or not. Perfect. Very good, Rafael. Salvador, good evening. Good to see you. 
How are you? I'm fine. Perfect. Okay, Salvador, go. Okay. Whether the weather is warm, whether the weather is hot, we have to put up with the weather, whether we like it or not. Okay, very good. Okay, uh, Glenda, are you there? Yes, teacher, I'm here. Okay. How are you, Glenda? I'm fine, thank okay. you. All right, perfect. Okay, Glenda, can you please read the tongue twister? Whether the, the weather is warm, whether the weather is hot, we have to put up with the weather, whatever we like. Get it? We like it or not? Or not. Well done. Thank you. Karen, can you please read the tongue twister? Yes. What if the weather is warm? What if the weather is hot? We, what? we have to put that with the weather, whether we like it or no. Yes. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, let me see. Uh, Carlos Dominguez. Whether the weather is warm, whether the weather is hot, we have to put out with the weather, whether we like it or not. Very good. Thank you, Carlos. Uh, let me see, Edwin. Yes. Whether the weather is warm, whether the weather is hot, we have to put up with the weather, whether we like it or not. Yes, very good. Uh, let me see. Well, Wilbur is as a listener today. Carlos Eduardo. Okay. Uh, whether the weather is warm, whether the weather is hot, we have to put up with the weather, whether we like it or not. Very good. Thank you. Uh, Nelson. Is Nelson there? Well, Susana? Whether the weather is warm, whether the weather is hot, we have to put in, we have to put up with the weather, whether we like it or not. Okay, very good. Thank you, Anna. Good evening, Anna. Hello, I am fine. Okay, so can you please read the tongue twister? <laughs> okay. Whether the weather is warm, whether the weather is hot, we have to put up with the weather, whether we like it or not. Why not? Okay, very good, guys. So this tongue twister is for you just to practice fluency. Okay, fluency and also um, vocabulary, okay? So this is your homework. I'm going to ask you the same tongue twister on Friday, okay? So let's see, we're going to move. And as I was um, asking you at the, very, at the very beginning of the class, guys, have you heard about object pronouns? Have you heard about passive voice? Yes or no? Some of you said no, but I would like to know if um, somebody has knowledge about object pronouns or passive voice. Somebody? No? Okay. So we are going to start by talking about vocabulary. And as you can see right here, we have object pronouns. So what are object pronouns in English? Well, as you can see, we have me, you, him, her, it, us, you, and them. Yeah? Those are object pronouns in English. So um, when do we use object pronouns and why are we talking about object pronouns right now? Because object pronouns are not necessary, but they are important when it comes to passive voice. Okay, so in this case, um, the object pronoun, uh, for example, is this object pronoun works as an object, yeah? So you will see some examples in the passive voice probably right now. I just need you to focus that we have object pronouns, okay? So the object pronoun for uh, the subject for me is going to be I, yeah? So this one is the object pronoun for I, this one for you, this one for he, this one for she, 
this one for it, this one for we, this one for you, and this one is for they. Yes, all of the subjects, uh, they have uh, its own object pronoun. Okay, now, what is the passive voice? What is the passive voice? Um, Rafael, help us reading those three um, information that we have. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, passive voice. Uh, to show interest in the person or object that experience an action rather than the person or object that performs the action. In other words, the most important thing or person becomes the subject of the sentence. Mm -hmm. When we don't know the person who be performed the action, um, in more formal or scientist, scientific mm -hmm. writing process. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. All right, guys. In English, we have passive voice and we also have active voice. And that's what you need to know. So the active voice is the one that I'm using right now. This is active voice. The one that you use, the one that I use. Yeah, that is active. But we also have passive voice. And when do we use passive voice? As it says right here, we use passive voice to show interest in the person or object that experiences an action rather than the person or object that performs the action, yeah? In other words, the most important thing or person becomes the subject of the sentence. We also use passive voice, okay? Passive voice whenever we don't know the person who performed the action. And we use the passive voice in more formal or scientific writing. We also use passive voice to avoid misunderstanding. You will see. Now today we are going to cover passive voice in the simple present tense only. For all of the tenses, for all of the tenses in English, we have passive voice, but today we are going to focus on simple present. Yeah, simple present only. Yeah. So you know about the simple present tense already. Okay, then um, the passive voice in the present simple, guys, as I was explaining to you before, English has two voices, active and passive, yeah? So the active voice is used when the subject of the sentence does the action. It's the normal um, voice that we use whenever we speak. This, the one that I'm using right now is called active voice, okay? So in the example, A is the subject and B is the object. Okay, look at this. We have, my mom sings that song. This sentence is active voice. My mom sings that song. This is active voice and it is in simple present. Subject, verb, and complement. Their person sings, yeah? This is active voice. But now we want to use passive voice. Why? Because we don't want to emphasize the subject. Yeah, the subject is not important in the passive voice. What is important is the object, meaning the complement. So we are going to switch the idea, yeah? So we use the passive voice whenever we want to focus on the object of the sentence. In other words, the complement, yeah? So as you can see right here, we say that song, that song, yeah? Now B goes in the first place. That song is sung by my mom. Now, this verb is in which tense? In which tense is this verb? Past participle. Past participle. You need to know that in the passive voice for the simple present and for all, all the tenses, we use 
past participle. So you need to know those verbs by heart. You need to learn those verbs. Yeah. So that song is sung by my mom. We can use by or we can only say that song is sung, period. But if I want to let you know who does the action, I can add by my mom. Yeah. Now, um, let me go ahead and write down the following. Let's say that we don't have my mom. Okay, we have she sings that song. Yeah, we have this sentence. It's the same sentence. The only thing is that I don't I don't add uh, my mom. Right, I add she. Now, if I want to make this sentence. Passive voice, simple present tense. What am I going to do? I'm going to say that song is sung by, by who? By her. By her. And here is where we use the object pronouns. Okay. What we covered at the beginning. When you don't have any specific subject. But remember, that is not mandatory that you include the subject. I mean, we can go ahead and do this. That song is sung. But it sounds like there is missing information. So I add by her. Yeah. But it's not mandatory. Okay. So it's not incorrect if you don't use by in the person. It's not incorrect. You can leave the sentence still here and it's okay okay but sometimes it is important and you you decide you decide if you want to use by hair or no in my case i always include by but sometimes it's not necessary okay so do you have any question till here do you have any doubt no Maybe the, uh, the things that I need to emphasize, uh, first, you need to use uh, past participle, yeah? Uh, second, remember that we are just studying passive voice in the simple present, not other things, simple present, okay? Yeah? And you can use by and the object pronoun or the noun that they give you. In this case, uh, on the first one, my mom, right? But if they gave you, uh, if they give you she, no, right? You are going to use her. Hmm. Yeah. Now let's move. So, well, this is just um, for you to remember the passive voice structure uh, for a simple present, okay? Which is the uh, structure for the simple present tense because we need to follow uh, structures, okay? First of all, what you need to remember, guys, is that the, um, the auxiliary verbs for the simple present in the passive voice are am, is, and are plus the past participle, yeah? And well, you know what is the past participle, right? I just gave you some examples right here. Like for example, develop, developed, and developed, the past participle. Invent, invented, invented. Write, wrote, written, break, wrote, broken, etc. There are many verbs, right? So, but you need to use the past participle, that. No simple past, no present past participle and we have auxiliaries am is and are teacher but that is the verb to be yes but we use verb to be for simple present tense in passive voice okay you will see it is easy okay it is easy it's not difficult but you need to follow the structure then let's see let's see the examples with the structures because it is important that you um, verify the examples, okay? So we have, remember, two voices, active 
and passive. The active voice is the one that I'm using right now. If you listen to me, I'm using active voice. Sometimes I use passive voice, but the most common one is active, yeah? So if I say, this is simple present, simple present. If I say, I deliver letters. Simple present tense, active voice. Subject, verb, and complement, simple present. But now I want to pass that sentence and I don't want to focus on me. I want to focus on the complement, on the object. So letters are going to go first. And we have passive voice. The letters, okay, are delivered. And if you want to include by me, it's okay. If you don't want to include by me, it's okay as well. That's why I, I have added that in parentheses. Okay. So active boys, I deliver letters. Yeah. Passive boys, the letters are delivered by me or the letters are delivered. So you see, we use the verb to be. Yeah. Okay. Now we have the second example. Active and passive. Those are positive sentences. People make cars in German. Yeah. Now cars, cars are made in German. Can I say by the people? Yes, but it's not necessary, okay? We can leave cars are made in German. Yeah? You need to find the subject. You need to switch everything, okay? That is passive voice, guys. Passive, and, and passive voice is really useful in English. Really, really useful. Do you have any question? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so on this example, people make cars in German. If you notice in the active voice, we focus on the subject. We focus on who does the action. Nos enfocamos en quién hace la acción en la voz activa. But in the passive voice, no. It's not important. Yeah, it's not important. So, here we say, las personas hacen carros o fabrican carros en Alemania. But in the passive voice, no es importante quién hace la acción, sino qué se hace. So, los carros son elaborados, producidos, hechos, fabricados en Alemania. So, we do not focus uh, on, the, on, on people. It's not important in the, in the passive voice. It's not important. Okay? And we also have negatives, of course, right? So we have the first one. I don't, I don't deliver letters. Simple present. But now in the passive voice, the letters are not delivered by me. And we also have the second example. People do not make cars in German. Cars are not made in German. Yeah. And we also have questions. Okay. So we have active voice. Do I deliver letters? Passive. Are letters delivered by me?
Yes. And could you may could you do the example by passive boy and using the bear and past participle? Um yes, those verbs that you see right here, those are in past participle, all of them. In the passive, in the passive. Oh, okay. Yes. Remember, um, uh -huh. past participle. Yes. Otro ejemplo. Another example, of course. Okay, for example, yeah. yeah. Okay, let's see. Um, if we want to say, yeah, I drink water every day yeah that is active now let's change that sentence into passive voice okay help me me yeah uh -huh. oh. okay uh uh, the drink. water. Okay, the water. Um, but in this case, the water. Use water. water. Yes, use water. Water. Are drink. No, water is is because it's singular. Is okay. drunk. Is drunk. Not drunk. Just that. Okay, water is drunk. Okay, you can leave it like that. Or we can say water is drunk by me every day. Or water is drunk. But remember, you need to learn the past participle. Past participle. That is the, the that is the challenge, right? Mm -hmm. Now, um Eulise. Sorry. Yes. Uh, if I want to say, for example, she uh, baked she. a cake. Okay, this is active voice. Now let's uh, switch the, the same sentence into passive. Help me. case no first of all remember okay this is the subject this is the verb and this is the complement okay vamos a pasar la voz pasiva ahora quién es mi sujeto en la voz pasiva case okay. el complemento el complemento muy bien y cuál es el complemento case a Cake o a cake? A cake. Bien, a cake. A cake. Uh -huh. A cake. Bake it. No bake it. Nos falta el auxiliar. Is. Pass part is full of bake. Bake. Bake by she, by her. Excellent. Bait by here. Okay. Or you can leave it till here. And this is optional. You can leave it like this. Okay. Every every single time that you create examples, I will recommend you to use parentheses and add by whom. Okay. Just to avoid any uh, confusion. Okay. So mm -hmm. do you have any doubt, guys? What questions do you have? This is very important. Tell me, teacher, I don't understand. I don't get it. Be honest. If you don't get it, tell me. Mm -hmm. In my case, teacher, sometimes I confuse uh, the, the organized, the order 
of the war because uh, <laughs> uh, for example in in the first in the first in the first uh, I deliver letters I see in this case is very easy uh, but when when I see for example people uh, in this case I confuse and I don't know how put the 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 first word. <laughs> okay. But uh, I imagine when if I practice, uh, maybe I I saw yes that yes. I mean it's a matter of practicing. That's it. For example, if we um say what. Uh, Christina, right? So Christina cooks um, the food. Yeah. We don't have she, he, we have Christina. So then let's pass this one to passive voice. Food. Mm -hmm. Food. Okay, food. the food. Okay, the food is cooked. Is cooked by Christina. By Christina. Okay, you see. Hmm. It, by it, here. here. Yeah, I, I I have one one question about that. Uh, we can put the food is cooked by her. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes, you can, you can say by her or by Christina. In this case, since you are being given with the subject, Christina, I will recommend you uh, using Christina, right? Because you have the name. Mm -hmm. Because you have the name. If you didn't have the name, and if you had used she, in that case, yes, it's better to use by her. But in the case that you are given uh, with the name, it's better to use Christina, right? That's okay. uh, it is my, my recommendation, but you can use by hair as well. Uh huh. Mm, let me see. Okay. Uh, for example, they eat bananas. Passive. The bananas. Banana. Bananas Banana. are eaten by they. Uh, Object pronoun of they. they? No. Them. 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 Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Object pronoun them. Now, negative. They don't eat. Bananas. Uh -huh. Passive. Bananas. Bananas are not no. eaten no. by them. You see? Now, questions. Okay. Do they eat bananas? Passive. Uh, no, they don't. They don't. Do they eat bananas? Are bananas? Are bananas? Eaten? By them? By them. So you see? I mean, what you need to uh, remember is the structure. Because if not, you will get confused. Yeah. So remember that the auxiliary verbs are am, is, or are, plus the past participle. And if you don't understand the structure, uh, you can guide yourself with an example. With an example, because it's better sometimes with the example. Okay. And you have examples right here. Okay, what other questions do you have? 
what other questions? Mm -hmm. I have a question, uh, but I don't know if other uh, time or sentence. Mm -hmm. When do you use uh, do you use um, the subject pronoun uh, at the beginning of the sentence? For example, when you say her father's name is Roberto is other time, the sentence, when you use at the beginning the pronoun subject? Oh, no. Okay, so in English, we have object pronouns, uh -huh. we have possessive adjectives. The possessive adjectives are the ones that you are mentioning. For example, her father's name uh -huh. is Elias. Uh -huh. yeah? So his name is Carlos. Her uh -huh is Maria. My name is Isamar. So in this case, those are called uh, possessive adjectives. Okay. Yeah, those are not um, object pronouns. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Okay, very good. Okay, any other doubt? Not right now? Okay, let's move. Let's move and now, well, what I mentioned before, okay? We can use by to say who or what is responsible for the action. And we have the example by me, the, uh, the thing that I explained before. Um, it is optional, okay? But if you want, you can include it. It's okay, All right? So now uh, we have some examples, okay? We have some examples so you can, um, I will say, get used to, okay? So one and two, Nelson, three and four, Salvador, Five and six, Anna. Seven and eight, Eulise. Nine and ten, Rose. Okay, Mr. John watches films. Mm -hmm. Films are watched watched by <gasps> what? Watch it or watched? <laughs> watched. Sorry. Films are watched by Mr. Jones. Very good, excellent. Uh, no. the, the people speak English. English is spoken by the people. Okay, very good. Three and four. Mm -hmm. I think that it was Salvador. La número dos o la tres? Three and four. Mm, yeah. He reads comics. Okay. Comics read. are red. Are red. Mm -hmm. We play volleyball. Volleyball is played. 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 Thank you. Five and six. They sing the song. The song is song. I take photos. The photos are taken. Photos are taken. Perfect. Seven and eight. And we see. Okay, teacher. Uh, seven. Um, she does the home housing work. Mm -hmm. And the housing work is done by her. Okay. And let me see. Oh. I can the other sentence. Yes, eight. Mm, it's okay. No puedo verla. You don't see it? Um, okay, don't worry. Um, Eulisi, okay. before, yeah, before moving on, repeat after me and say, how's work? How's work? No, how's it? How's work? How's work? Like that, how's work? Okay, number eight. Yeah. The a policeman, a policeman mm -hmm. help the children. Mm -hmm. The children are helped by policemen. By the policemen. Perfect. Yes. Thank you. 
9 and 10, Rose. He writes poems. Poems are written by him. Mothers water the flowers. The flowers are watered by mother. Okay, repeat after me and say written. 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 Excellent. Written. Like that. Written. Written. Okay, written. Yes. Excellent. So, yes, you see? Very easy. It's not difficult, right? I mean, yes, it is probably because of the birds. Okay. All right. Any question? No? Now, then, it's your turn. Okay. We have number one. He opens the door. The door is opened by him. Number two. We set the table. Fácil. The table is set. Okay, let me see. I'm going to write down. Okay, so it should be the table. Is set. The table is set. Are you by our sure? mm. by our no our is possessive us us we use no sé cómo se pronuncia okay repeat after me and say us us yes are you sure? yes okay um past participle of set 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 okay set yes in this case, it's not sad, okay? It is set. Yeah? Set, set, and set. Simple past set and past participle set. It doesn't change. Okay? All right, number three. A lot of money. A lot of money. A lot of money. Pays. Mm -hmm. Paid. Uh, Paid. 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 Uh, Paid by hair. Paid, Paid by hair. By hair. Okay. Very perfect. A trap. A picture. A picture. A picture. A picture. A picture. Trap. Is trap. I mean. Is draw by me. Draw by me. Are you sure that is draw? Drawn draw. with M. Okay. Yes. By me. Okay, perfect. Number five. They wear blue shoes. Blue shoes. Blue shoes. Blue shoes. Are worth worth by worn worth by them by them by them perfect number six they don't they don't help, help you, you. Mm, okay let's see think. Which is your subject? You. Okay. Okay. You. You help. You. You aren't. You aren't. Helped. Helped. By them. By them. Perfect. Very good. Excellent. Okay. He doesn't open the book. The book. Book. You are in. Is. Is. Negative. Isn't. 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 Open. 
by him, by him, by him. Perfect. Number eight. You do not write the letter. The letter. The letter. Written. 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 Mm -hmm. Now questions. Does your mom pick you up? Subject. You. Okay, but now it's a question. Mom. You. Are, are you demanded? Done. You. Are you birth? Picked. Uh, uh, picked. Uh, picked. 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 Uh, picked. Up. Your mom. By mom. By your mom. Uh, by your mom. Mm -hmm. Remember pronunciation? Picked. 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 Picked up. Picked up. Picked up. All right. Now, and number 10. Does the police officer catch the thief? The thief? It's a I question. Uh -huh. A question. Is the thief? Mm -hmm. Catch the thief. The thief, okay. The thief. Past participle of catch. Caught. 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 Yeah. Caught. By, By the police officer. By the police officer. You see? But you need to be really like focused, right? You you need to be concentrated, okay? What other questions do you have? Do you have questions? No? Okay. So then before continuing with the other activity, I'm going to take the attendance, okay? I'm going to take the attendance. Let me... Um, okay, here we go. Okay, say present uh, when you hear your name. Mm, give me one second. It's loading. Um, okay. Mm. You see him? Okay, today, all right. So, Ana Lorena. Present. Thank you. Okay. Eh, Andrea Sofia. Andrea. Blanca Jennifer Torres. Present. Okay, thank you. Eh, Blanca. Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Present. Okay, thank you. Carlos Eduardo Torres. Present. Thank you. Carlos Francisco Arias. And let me see. I think that he's the one that sent it. Eh, Cesar Romero Amaya. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present teacher. Thank you. Eulice Torres. Present. Thank you. Fátima Noemi Umaña. Fátima. Glenda Toledo. Present. Thank you. Jose Salvador. I'm here. Thank you. Hosman Atilio. Present. Thank you. Juan Francisco Salmerón. Karen Lisette Sánchez. <laughs> Present. 
Catherine Indira, Marlon Oswaldo, Nelson Alberto. Present. Thank you. Rafael Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you. Raul Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Rosa del Carmen. Present. Thank you. Susana Milena. Present. Thank you. Walter David. Present. Thank you. Wilber Alberto. Let me see if Wilber is here. Yes. Um, and Jensia Susana. Okay. All right. So let's move, guys. Let's move and let's continue with the next activity. But now is your turn. Okay. Now is your turn. Okay. We have 16, 16 questions. Well, not questions, sentences. Okay. We have 16 sentences that are in active, active voice. Now you need to rewrite each sentence using passive voice for simple present. Remember simple present. Okay. We are going to make teams of four. Yeah. So you need to divide the tasks, right? Because all of you need to participate, all right? So um, do you have any question before going to breakout rooms? No? Okay. So let's see. Okay, remember, we need to complete the 16, okay? The 16 uh, sentences. Um, so here we go. Okay. okay. Hello. 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 Okay, the first one I think. Hello. Hello. Oh, hey, teacher. Um, the the screen. Yeah. Okay. Let me see. Um. Try now. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Yes. Okay. Porque la computadora no sirve para acá. Ya veo. Do you have questions? Solamente tenemos la primera parte. Nos podría ayudar con la segunda, teacher. Okay. All right. Por favor. Um, the, the second part of the sentences? Or... or... Or what do you yes, need? The compar the the compar compar uh, let me send the, the link. I'm going to send the link, okay? Thank you. Okay. Mm. Okay. So. Okay. Uh, in the chat. Se los mandé al chat. Thanks so much. Okay, perfect. Okay, guys, let's see. Number one, uh, try to write it, okay? Escríbala. Vaya escribiéndola porque se lo voy a preguntar después. Okay, people produce cars in this factory.
fácil. Uh -huh. People produce car in this factory. Uh -huh. Yes. ¿Cómo sería la voz pasiva de esa oración? Lo primero que tenemos que identificar es quién va a ser nuestro sujeto. En la voz pasiva. Uh -huh. Entonces, en la número uno, ¿quién sería nuestro sujeto en la voz pasiva? Cars in this factory. Ok. Cars in this factory. Vale, entonces escriba cars in this factory uh -huh. ahora el auxiliar are. are muy bien y ahora el pasado participio de el verbo y cuál es el verbo Produced. Muy bien, entonces el pasado participio de ese verbo, ¿cuál es? Produced. Produced. Ok. Correct. Now, vaya, ahora ¿qué tenemos? Produce people. Uh, people uh, uh, produce. By people. By people. Ok. Agreguele by people. By people. Yes. Ahora, un consejo que les voy a dar es el siguiente. Si usted se fija, eh, hemos puesto como sujeto cars in this factory. ¿Bien? Uh -huh. Pero como el sujeto en sí, el sujeto en sí solamente son los carros. In uh -huh. this factory quedaría de la siguiente manera. Cars are produced in this factory by people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cars are produced in this factory by people. Yeah, by people. Mm -hmm. Now let's make number two. The farmer grows carrots in his field. Let's see. Which is my subject? ¿Quién va a ser mi sujeto? Carrots. Carrots. Muy bien. Carrots. Entonces, carrots. Auxiliar, auxiliary. Are. Are. Verb in past participle. ¿Cuál es su verbo? Grow. 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 Now, past participle of grow. Grew? No, grew is simple grew. past. It should be past participle. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay, it is grown. With N, with mm -hmm. N at the final, okay? So, carrots are grown. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué va después? In the farm. In the farm. In the farm. In, in the farmer or, um, no, in the farm probablemente. Pero como tenemos in the farm, sino que, ne, que tenemos in his field. Entonces sería a carrots are grown in his field. ¿Ya? Si decimos by the farmer, estamos como siendo redundantes porque decimos en su eh, campo. Ya sabemos que es él. ¿Cómo sería? 
carrots are grown in his field. Field. Um, mm. Field, what do you mean? A campo. Mm. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> okay, continue with number three. Try. Teacher. Yes. And uh, we are we are going to do all the sentences. All the sentences. How what how how time do you have? How many time you have? In yes. nine oh six around ten minutes. Okay. Yeah. It's a little time. <laughs> okay. I mean you you will have more, but I need to to try to to resolve all of these, okay? Vaya, okay. vamos con la tercera. Okay, por el tiempo no se preocupe, okay? Vamos, number three. ¿Quién sería mi Mrs. Lawrence milks her cow twice a day. Twice a day. No. No. Cow. Cow. The cow. Okay. Cow. The cow. The cow. Auxiliary bird. Is. Is. Muy bien. Very good. The cow is past participle of the verb. What is your verb? Milk. 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 Okay, yes. And what is, what is the meaning of milk as a verb? Es un verbo, no nada más es leche. Okay. So milk mm -hmm. también es un verbo que significa ordeñar. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what is the past participle? Milk. 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 With ed. Milk. Con t. Yes. Con ed y la pronunciación con t. Milk. Milk. Yes. The cow is. So, uh, the cow is milk. Mm -hmm. Milk. Twist and day. Twice a day, okay? Twice a day. Number four. Alexander plays golf every Sunday morning. Which is your subject? ¿Cuál es su sujeto? Sunday. Mm -hmm. Every Sunday morning. Every Sunday morning. Okay. Uh -huh. Continue. Every Sunday morning. Morning. Yes. Um. Plays. Play. Every Sunday, every Sunday morning, uh -huh. plays golf. I don't know. Is is is. Yeah. Okay. Every Sunday morning, golf. Golf. Uh -huh. Golf. Auxiliary. Play. Play. Plate is plate. Okay. 
Now, number five. Okay, I'm going to leave you for two minutes. Lo voy a dejar por dos minutos. Voy a ir a monitorear las demás salas. Y cuando venga, le voy a preguntar por las cinco y las seis. Okay, five and six. Okay, I'll, I'll come back in two minutes. Okay, try. Muy bien. Okay. Do you have any question? Teacher. No? Okay, perfect. Right, let me... Well, I, I tried to to write some some sentences, but the other uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> and, and what are you saying? Uh, I mean, are, are are they here, Raul, or yeah. are you alone? No, I'm here. Ah, okay. Um, okay, so uh, have you divided the sentences? Or or how are you working? Uh, well, I tried to do it the first one, to do it the first one, but no one talks. The, ah. I'm trying to talk, to work alone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, got it. Okay. So, Karen, are you there? Okay. All right. Um, all right. Uh, Raul, how many have you resolved? What? How many what have you resolved? Uh... Five. Five, okay. And you, Walter? Seven. Seven. And you, Karen? No, 11. 11, 11. okay. And you, yeah. Karen? Seven. Seven. <laughs> Okay, so, all right. Uh, Raul, I'm going to move you to room number four with Anna, okay? Um, Walter, I'm going to move you with, uh, let me see. With Susana. I'm going to move you with Susana. And Karen, I'm going to move you with Blanca, okay? <laughs> Oh, we can. We can ask. We, can ask. <laughs> Richard, we have a question. Yes. When we use the for the start the sentence. Oh, when. For example, the number three, the mm -hmm. cow, mm -hmm. but the others just the word, like carrots, gold, storybooks. When we use the. Start the sentence. Okay, very good. So the cow is whenever we have the specific noun, right? And in this case, if we say cow, uh, it's like vaca, right? But in order for us to say la vaca, we need to use the cow. When we say golf, it's not necessary for, for us to say el golf, right? It's okay. just golf. Mm -hmm. um, now, storybooks? Uh, storybooks is plural, so it's not necessary, okay? It's not necessary, but number eight, it is necessary because ice cream, Um, I mean, it's not necessary, but if you want, you can add the ice cream is eaten, but if you want to leave it like that, leave it like that, it's okay. But with the cow, yes, the cow, it, it was really important, okay? Because if not, it sounds like vaca. Mm, okay. Okay. So the last sentence mm -hmm. we can use the roast turkey because yeah. we are specific. Yes, the roast okay. turkey. Okay. You say. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. 
Okay. Are no, it's cook. cooked. Cooked. No, it. Primero que se le llaman positivos y negativos. Yo esa parte es la que no entiendo si se le tiene que agregar. Bueno, aquí está la teacher, le pudiéramos preguntar, porque yo sí tengo esa duda. Si quieren voy a compartir la pantalla, teacher, help me. Ahí está, ahí está ya la pantalla, alguien eh, la está compartiendo. No, 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 pero voy a compartir el, el, el Word. O bueno, la, porque nos diga según esta pantalla. Teacher, we, we have a question about the, three. the sentence and four. Ah, oh, no, and three. the sentence three. and three. Uh, mm -hmm. Mr. Larsen milks her cow twice a day, mm -hmm. and and Rosa say the cow. Uh, uh, could you could you please, say please. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. the cow is a milked twice a day by Mr. Lawrence by Mrs. But I, I say that, that I that I. Uh, a question that mm -hmm. in this case, when you add the word de, eh, aunque en la, en la oración no esté como el de, mm -hmm. hay que ponérselo o no? Yes, en ese caso sí hay que ponérselo porque eh, sería extraño si solo ponemos cow, ¿verdad? O ah. si ponemos el cow. Porque recuerde que en, el, en el, la voz pasiva mmm, el, el, el foco principal no es ningún sujeto, sino que es como el objeto, es el complemento. Entonces, en este caso, si decimos her cow, estamos diciendo su vaca, pero ¿de quién? Entonces, no. Eh, ponemos da cow. Y si solo decimos cow, solo diríamos vaca. Y entonces, ¿vaca qué? ¿Sí? ¿Yes? Y en in this case, eh, twist a day, uh -huh. eh, eh, read at the end the sentence. Yes. It's correct. Correct. Twice uh, a day. Uh -huh. Okay, perfect. Yes. Uh -huh. y, in the four, is correct say every Sunday morning golf is played or every Sunday morning is play golf by Alexander. Every Sunday morning golf is, play. is played by Alexander. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Entonces sería Rosa say please the call mm -hmm. is milk twice a day mm -hmm. by Miss Lai uh -huh, twice a day. Okay. 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 <laughs> um, question. We are not sure about the structure of the sentence because I think the correct way is the roast turkey is cooked on a special days by the Hamilton. Mm -hmm. And Susanna thinks the, the compliment is at the last. The Yeah. The roast turkey is cooked by the Hamiltons on special days. I think by the Hamilton is the last. By the Hamilton. Yeah, I think, but I'm not sure. You know, um, actually with that, it could be either or. Puede ser de ambas maneras. Okay. But in this case, como estamos poniendo el by the Hamiltons, eh, tiene el by the Hamiltons tendría que ir... Um, al final. Okay. But, I mean, como usted también lo ha puesto, it's okay. 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 Mm -hmm. I think oh. the verb in past participle is solito. <laughs> it's alone. alone. Uh, it's alone. The last by. And the complement continues. Yes. As well. It doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, very good. <laughs> thank you, teacher. All right, thank you, guys. Thank you. Mm -hmm. okay, let me go. Well, I'm going to continue, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Huh? 
questions? Mm. Number five. Okay. You, Jose. Okay. Number five. Mm -hmm. Number okay. Uh, a lot of natural photos mm -hmm. are taken at weekend by Maisie. Macy. Macy. Okay. Macy. Macy. Yes. Very good. Okay. You, Jose, number six. Mm -hmm. Diana is loved. Uh, and respect in this class by everyone. Let me see. Everyone. Again, go again. Number seven. Yes, uh, number six. Uh, Diana is loved and respect, respect in this respected in this class by everyone. Yes, perfect. Okay, next. History books are read every day by Mason and Lucas. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, continue. Número ocho. Por ahí vamos. Ok. Only. Oh, you see? You are like getting the idea. Very good. Continue, continue. Mm. Ok. Ok. A mechanic prepares your car in his garage. A mechanic uh, repairs your car. your car in his garage. Your, your car, car is prepared. Repair it. Prepared. His Prepared. Mm, his, By him. Him. In his. Falta el you, his you, porque le ha puesto he. You write, you write no, es him. I. El him sustituye el his. Him. No, allá his. en, después de in. Ah, el, el, el possessive. Sí. Possessive pronouns. <laughs> Garage. By him. Ok. Garage. Mr. War sells fresh meat in this shop. Mr. War. Mr. War sells fresh meat in this shop. Fresh meat in his shop. Fresh meat is mm -hmm. seller. Uh, sold. Déjame recordarme. Sí, so, sold, sold. sold. Déjame comprobar. With si sí, sol es. No, así. No, creo que cambia. Este, quiero ver. Esconde el pasado, pero no sé si el participio también. Quiero ver. Que si no me acuerdo. Oh my goodness. Tengo dudas. Sol. Es tal cual, vea. Sí, sol. Ah, pues ahí está. Perdón, dudé. <risa> Excuse me. <laughs> Mm 
Ulises. Okay. Uh, number nine. Nine. Okay. I will try. Cook. Rose. Mm -hmm. Um. Is Turkey. Turkey. Mm -hmm. Is talking about a special day. Uh, mm -hmm. the, Vamos, ¿Cuál es el sujeto? Um, um, a special day. Creo que sigue después del verbo, Ross. Cross Turkey is cooking. Cross Turkey is cooking. Is cooking. Uh-huh. On a special day. That's right. And the... By? By the... Hamilton's. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Jennifer, number 10. Maybe our street is clean every morning by Mr. Owen. That's right. Edwin? Yes. Um, Number 11. The car is repaired by a machine in his garage. Repeat, please. The car is repaired mm -hmm. by a machine in his garage. Mm hmm. Uh, to week, uh, three times a week, eating ice cream by then. Creo que es así. Are La, el ar, are eating. Are eating ice cream by then. Mm -hmm. Three times a week, are eating ice cream by then. Mm, okay, on this one. Which is the subject? Um, it use ice cream? On that one? Say, yes. 
It should be ice cream. Only ice cream. So ice cream. Let me see. Ice cream three times. Are eating, are eating three times. No. Ice cream ah, is three, singular or plural? Is singular? Uh, is? Okay. Uh -huh. Ice plural. cream. Is? Is. Eating? Eating? Is eating three times a week by them. Okay. It's correct. Yes. Uh, Screen, you see them. The chair. And number nine seven creo que es is correct say every day are with a story book story books by mason and lucas mm, mason and lucas okay no which es is story books okay. uh -huh. story okay. books But when you see like a time expression at the end, siempre que se vea una expresión de tiempo al final, como every day, twice a day, three times a week, etc. Eso siempre se van a dejar para el final. Ah, uh, ok. Sí, siempre. Perfect. Yeah, ok. So, number seven. Uh... History books are, are read, read every day. Every day by, by Mason, Mason and Lucas. Lucas. Story books. In this case, the one, two, three, four, the five is incorrect also. Mm -hmm. A lot of not three photos the number nine the five is, is incorrect why because uh, read the, the uh, lo de tiempo que dijo Está al inicio. Ah, es cierto. So, a lot of nature photos. Ajá. Uh -huh. Are taken. Are taken at uh, weekends by, uh -huh. by, by Masi. Yes. Weekend by Masi. Let me see. A lot of. A lot of photos and a lot of nature. Are taken at weekend. Weekends by them. Okay. So the number nine. The Hamilton's cook roast turkey on special days. Special days is time expression, right? Yes. Yes. So uh, roast turkey mm. is cooked mm. Mm. on special days. By the Hamilton is is the is the family right is a last name. 
Correct. Okay. By them or by the Hamilton. Mm -hmm. Rust. Rust Turkey. Rust Turkey. Special. The pen, the oven cleans our street every morning. The streets. Our street is clean. Our street is clean every morning by Mr. Oven. Mm -hmm. I think. The number eleven, um, Mexico. Mechanic, the mecha a mechanic repairs your car in his garage. Um, the car, car is the car repair. Is repaired in his garage by by him. I don't know. <laughs> Teacher, in in the number eleven is correct if I say uh, the car is repaired and. In his garage by him by a mechanic. In the in the garage by a mechanic. The car is repaired in in his garage. In the garage. Why? Ah. Because on this one, we don't need to use his because it's passive voice. Mm -hmm. It's in just general garage. in the garage. In the garage by a mechanic. By a mechanic. Or by him. Or by him. Yeah. Uh, is where in the garage by number 12 the worm sells fresh, fresh meat in his shop. In his shop. Let me see. Fresh meat, fresh meat. is to so, 
Teacher, in this case, when when we talk about fresh meat, meat is Pardon. is uncountable, right? Or yes, uncountable. Un no, uncountable. Okay. So fresh meat is so is sold in his shop. his shop by Mr. Bar. In the shop, in this case, they say the... Uh, in the shop, right. Uh -huh. By Mr. Okay. Ward. Yeah. It's all... In the shop... By him. Number two thing. Must women watch TV series at home? Let me see. Bye. TV series are watched at, at home, home by most women. By, yeah, but most women. This brush. By them. Number 14, mm -hmm. even some other brushes, her hair, every month, every Brush. morning. Yeah. Um, now. Brush. Brush, 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 brush. Hair, brush, hair. Brush, brush, brush. Hair, uh, hair. Is brush. Hair, hair is brushed. Every morning. Every morning. Every morning by Evan's mother. This way is brush. Every morning by. Number 15, people go down more and more tree every day. Trees. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, more trees. Trees. Uh -huh. More trees are cut down. No, tiene que ser the trees. Siempre me entra al poner el de, aunque sé que árboles. Ya de por sí, estoy árboles. Only three. No, the trees. The trees. Ah, ok. The trees eh, are. Are. Cut. Cut down more and more every day by people. Okay. The trees are cut down. Okay. By people. And the last one. Policemen catch an arrest 
thieves and forward robbers robbers are a coat no sé cuál es catch Access coat. Scout. 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 Teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia esa palabra la después de arrest? Arrest. Thief. Thieves. 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 Thieves and robbers are. Coach and arrest arrested. By, arrested by policemen. Okay. All right. I think that we need to go back to the main room. Okay. Let's go back. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so let's review. Let's review. Okay, number one. Who has number one? People produce cars in this factory. It should be? Mm -hmm. Um, Hosman, number one. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry, teacher. No la había terminado, pensé que la había corregido, pero no. Okay. Uh, In the factory products, the cars by people. Mm, not exactly. So cars, el sujeto. Primero va el sujeto. Uh, cars, 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 cars are produced in this factory by, in this factory by people. Okay. Number two, uh, Rafael. The farmer grows carrots in his field. Okay. Um, uh, carrots are grown in his field by hand. Okay. Sounds good. Number three, Mrs. Lawrence milks her cow twice a day. Um, Anna, number three. Trees. The cow is milk twice a day by Mr. Lawrence. Okay, twice. Twice. Yes, thank you. Jose Salvador, number four. Every Sunday morning, golf is played. Okay, yes. You switch like uh, the time expression to the beginning and oh, yes, okay. It's correct. Number five, uh, please, Edwin. Number five. Yes. Uh, the natural photos are taken by Maisel at the weekends. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Number six, Rose. Is every Sunday morning, Diana oh, no. allow a rest in this class by them. Okay, Diana is loved and respected uh -huh, in this class by everyone. Okay, uh, number seven, Susana. Storybooks are read by Mason and Lucas every day. Perfect, thank you. 
Number eight, Nelson. Okay. The ice cream, I are, mm -hmm. no, the ice cream is eaten uh, three times a week by Lexi and Megan. Perfect, yes. Number nine, Walter. Let me see, it's Walter here. Well, Blanca, number uh, nine. Ross Turkey is cooked on a special day by the Hamiltons. Okay. Pronunciation cooked. Okay. Cooked. cooked. Yes. Cooked. And number 10, Glenda. Our street is cleaned every morning by Mr. Oven. By Mr. Oven. Oven. Okay. Pronunciation cleaned. Cleaned. Yes, 11, uh, Nelson. Uh, 11. Yes. Mm, your car? Mm -hmm. Your car no, or, or the car? The car. The car, correct. Okay. The car uh, is repaired. Uh, in his garage by a mechanic. Okay, the car is repaired in his garage by a mechanic. Okay, will be number 12, Anna. 12 fresh meat is sold in the shop in the shop by Mr. Ward. Very good. Number 13, um, eh, Susana. Um, the TV series are watched, watched, watched by most women at home. Okay, pronunciation, watched. Watched. Yeah. Okay, guys. Let's stop right here with um, that part. Let's move to the listening, okay? Because I, I want you to take the listening today, the listening practice, okay? Um, let's go to the spreadsheet and let me send that link here. Okay. There you go. And the passcode is listening, okay? Capital uh, letters, listening, okay? All right, uh, log in please. And let me know once you are in so I can play the audio. I'm in. Awesome, thank you. Okay. I am in too. Perfect, okay. Okay, the other ones? I mean, you're in. Perfect. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so here we go, guys. Who is not ready? Who is not? Well, everybody is ready. Okay, so here we go. Listen carefully, okay? Listen carefully. Okay. Hello, 24th Precinct. Officer Jones speaking. Help! Yeah, uh, it was wild. I mean, really bizarre. Calm down, sir. Now, what do you want to report? Well, I'd like to report a UFO sighting. A what? What do you mean, what? An unidentified flying object. Wait, tell me exactly what you saw. Well, I was driving home from a party about three hours ago, so it was about 2 a.m., when I saw this bright light overhead. Okay, and then what happened? Oh man, well it was out of this world. I stopped to watch the light when it disappeared behind a hill about a kilometer ahead of me. All right, then what? Well, I got back in my car and I started driving toward where the UFO landed. Now, how do you know it was a UFO? 
Perhaps you only saw the lights of an airplane. No. Or the headlights of an approaching car. No. Things like that happen, you know. Well, if it was that, how do you explain the beast? What do you mean, the beast? Okay, I kept driving for about five minutes when all of a sudden this giant hairy creature jumped out in front of my car. Oh, yeah? Then what? Well, then the beast picked up the front of my car and said, Get out of the car. I'm taking you to my master. Something like that. Wow. A hairy alien who can speak English. Come on. I'm not making this up, if that's what you're suggesting. Then, when I didn't get out of my car, the beast opened the car door, carried me on his shoulders to this round-shaped flying saucer, and, well, that's when I woke up alongside the road. The beast must have knocked me out and left me there. Well, that's the best story I've heard all night, sir. Now, have you been taking any medication, drugs, or alcohol in the last 24 hours? You mentioned you went to a party. What? Well, I did have a few beers, but I'm telling the truth. Okay, okay. We have a great therapist that deals with these kind of cases. I'm not crazy. Well, we'll look into your story. Thank you. Okay. The last time, okay? So you can um, listen again. Hello, 24th Precinct. Officer Jones speaking. Help! Yeah, uh, it was wild. I mean, really bizarre. Calm down, sir. Now, what do you want to report? Well, I'd like to report a UFO sighting. A what? What do you mean, what? An unidentified flying object. Wait, tell me exactly what you saw. Well, I was driving home from a party about three hours ago, so it was about 2 a.m. when I saw this bright light overhead. Okay, and then what happened? Oh, man. Well, it was out of this world. I stopped to watch the light when it disappeared behind a hill about a kilometer ahead of me. All right, then what? Well, I got back in my car and I started driving toward where the UFO landed. Now, how do you know it was a UFO? Perhaps you only saw the lights of an airplane. No. Or the headlights of an approaching car. No. Things like that happen, you know. Well, if it was that, how do you explain the beast? What do you mean, the beast? Okay, I kept driving for about five minutes when all of a sudden this giant hairy creature jumped out in front of my car. Oh, yeah? Then what? Well, then the beast picked up the front of my car and said... Get out of the car. I'm taking you to my master. Something like that. Wow. A hairy alien who can speak English. Come on. I'm not making this up, if that's what you're suggesting. Then, when I didn't get out of my car, the beast opened the car door, carried me on his shoulders to this round-shaped flying saucer, and, well, that's when I woke up alongside the road. The beast must have knocked me out and left me there. Well, that's the best story I've heard all night, sir. Now, have you been taking any medication, drugs, or alcohol in the last 24 hours? You mentioned you went to a party. What? Well, I did have a few beers, but I'm telling the truth. Okay, okay. We have a great therapist that deals with these kind of cases. I'm not crazy. Well, we'll look into your story. Thank you. Okay, guys. Send your, your answers, okay? Submit your, your answers. Let me see. Okay. All right. Was it difficult? Yeah, I think that it was yeah. kind of difficult. Yes. Okay. All right, guys. Yes, I can see that some of you got eight, uh, 80. Okay, some of you got 60, right? Uh, the highest score is 80. Okay. All right. Uh, just because of the time, guys, we are going to stop right here and I'll see you back tomorrow, okay? Um, try to rest, okay, and try to get more energy for tomorrow because tomorrow we are going to cover a different topic, okay? So uh, the only person, please, that stay with me, Rose, okay? Then the other ones, go ahead and sleep, rest, okay? Thank you for being responsible and I'll see you back tomorrow, okay? Have a good night. Bye bye. Have a good night, night guys. Night too. Thank you. Here, guys. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Um. Hi, Rose. Hello. Hello.
Um, okay, Rose, we are going to have this short feedback. Vamos a tener ese pequeño feedback donde eh, más que todo pues es hacerle algunas preguntas y que se pueda expresarme cómo se con las clases. Eh, hasta el momento sí, siento que pues me ha costado un poco uh, uh -huh. entenderla toda, porque como de casi no se habla español. Yes. Eh, pero sí, ahorita quizás se siente que se me dificulta un poquito esto de las oraciones, uh -huh. especialmente porque es muy diferente la práctica a la que uno le están enseñando. Yes. Muy bien. Um, sí, sí, sí. Ok, Eso sí bueno. me okay. cuénteme eh, cuánto tiempo ha estado estudiando inglés y si ha tomado cursos con nosotros anteriormente y, eh, y si ha tomado cursos con nosotros anteriormente, ¿qué niveles ha hecho? Pues hasta el momento los básicos, uh -huh. pero eso fue hace casi seis meses que dejé de estudiar, pero es cuando estaba tirada. Uh -huh. Y hace poco que lo volteé a retomar. Ok. Sí. Bien, Rose. Eh, bueno, primero que nada, pues, eh, en las clases, si usted se fija, como usted eh, me lo acaba de comentar, más que todo no se habla español. Se trata de hacer todo en inglés porque es un requisito eh, de INSAFOR, ¿verdad? Que, eh, de hecho, desde básico, no deberíamos de hablar español. Sin embargo, en básico, pues, se comprende porque son los primeros niveles. Ya en intermedio, pues, eh, es bien difícil que el maestro le vaya a hablar español porque es requisito fundamental que hablemos en inglés. Ahora, Rose, eh, tal vez el hecho de que dejamos de estudiar cierto tiempo, pues, al final, pues, sí, eh, se nos ha olvidado tal vez a, las cosas que aprendimos, ¿verdad? Entonces, es bien importante que cuando se tenga preguntas o cuando se tenga dudas, siempre pues las haga. Yo sé que en ocasiones es como que eh, no, porque me da pena o no, porque no quiero preguntar, ¿verdad? pero recuerde que las dudas se van a ir acumulando y se van a ir eh, llevando pues a los siguientes niveles. Y en los siguientes niveles van a ser un poquito aún más, eh, tal vez eh, en práctica, ¿verdad? Porque como vamos avanzando, usted va a pasar a intermedio 2, entonces como va avanzando, se viene siendo un poco más difícil, o no más difícil, sino que más complejo, ¿verdad? El idioma. Entonces, es bien importante que usted desde en ese momento, que si tiene preguntas o dudas, las haga y que trate de participar lo más que pueda, ya que la participación la hace a usted ganar la confianza para poder utilizar el idioma. Eh, lo otro es que en realidad, pues, eh, hacemos bastante speaking para que ustedes puedan eh, tener tal vez un poco más de, de confianza en ustedes mismos. Entonces, eh, en speaking, no sé eh, si cuando yo la mando a los breakout rooms ha estado practicando con sus compañeros. Sí, sí, he estado practicando con ellos. Ok, muy bien. Eh, bien, en este caso, pues, recuerde que también el aprender el idioma es básicamente un proceso. Es un proceso que en ocasiones a, a algunas personas pues les toma un poco más y tal vez a otros estudiantes les toca eh, menos, ¿verdad? Sin embargo, quien hace ese uh, tal vez de, de ser más corto, más largo el tiempo, es el estudiante. Ahora yo le pregunto, ¿qué hacemos cuando no estamos en clase? Es decir, ¿qué está haciendo usted para poder mejorar su nivel de inglés? Eh. Pues especialmente quizás más me va a un poco en la pronunciación porque todo me gusta escuchar canciones en inglés. Uh -huh. Igual, quizás quiero practicar cuando me queda tiempo en el trabajo porque rara vez me queda tiempo en el día. Uh -huh. Ok. Eh, bueno, yo le puedo recomendar que cuando usted tenga el tiempo, tal vez en la noche, ¿verdad? E incluso yo les compartí un link de audios para que ustedes puedan eh, leer como el, el, la conversación y al mismo tiempo escuchar qué va diciendo, leyendo y escuchando. Entonces, les recomiendo que eh, lo utilice, porque eh, así va a usted mejorar, no nada más su listening, pero también su pronunciación y su speaking, y también vocabulario. 
También lo otro que le puedo recomendar tal vez es ver eh, series, películas en inglés, porque eso ayuda. Cuando usted las pone eh, completamente en inglés y tal vez solo los subtítulos, las primeras veces en español, pero ya después todo en inglés, eh, le va a ayudar bastante. De igual manera, eh, si usted pues, no quiere ver como una película que dura dos horas en inglés, lo que puede hacer es buscar un video en YouTube, ¿verdad? Un video en YouTube de unos dos minutos de algo en inglés que a usted le interese, ¿ok? Como puede ser animales, eh, puede ser como eh, qué es la amistad, qué es cualquier cosa que a usted le interese y le puede poner en inglés, en English. Y le van a salir un montón de videos, ¿verdad? Y usted va a ir viendo cuál puede ver para que usted se vaya acostumbrando y vaya adquiriendo un poco más de vocabulario, ¿sí? Eh, bien, en ese caso, en general, la dinámica de la clase, ¿qué le ha parecido? No, en realidad, toda la clase sí es interesante porque no se sé, hace bastantes dinámicas, entonces sí es bastante interesante. Igual sí, es, a principio sí, que las primeros días que comenzamos con las clases, sí, que las me puse a pensar, pensé que me había saltado algún módulo. Pero yo después sí, ya, o sea, la mitad la entendía, pero lograba más o menos comprender lo, lo que usted estaba explicando. Uh -huh. okay. Pero sí, es que que estoy usted hablando de inglés, solo inglés, y siento que me ha ayudado a a mejorar, a comenzar anteriormente. Ok. Sí, Rose, mire, la verdad que, eh, bueno, me alegro que eh, la dinámica de la clase le parezca interesante y la verdad que eh, así es como cuando venimos de básico y cuando pasamos a intermedio, la mayoría dice, ¿verdad? Es un cambio bien grande porque en básico eh, se tiene un poco más como de, eh, todavía se le habla un poquito español al estudiante, porque sabemos que van aprendiendo todavía, están empezando. Pero ya en intermedio ya es como para que ustedes se vayan dando cuenta lo que en realidad, ¿verdad? Deberíamos de lograr, porque la meta es que usted hable inglés, que usted cuando le pregunten algo, usted lo diga bien fluido y que tenga vocabulario. Entonces, eso solo lo logramos, pues, en cierta manera, eh, hablándole full inglés al alumno, ¿verdad? Y también que el alumno se sienta eh, que no se acomode en ocasiones a que la clase va a ser como en español. Porque eso sí eh, se hace como en los primeros niveles, más que todo. E incluso, Insafor requiere que lo hagamos desde el principio, que solamente le hablemos inglés. Pero, pues, no podemos, porque entonces ustedes tal vez... Eh, no, no comprenderían pues la mayor parte de cosas. En este caso yo trato de hablar más en inglés por el hecho de que como somos un intermedio, entonces ya los conocimientos previos de básico eh, tendrían que ser, eh, ya usted ya no eh, tendría que comprenderme la mayor parte de las cosas que yo pues hablo en ese momento. Sin embargo, tal vez ha afectado el no haber estudiado un poco de meses, ¿verdad?, entonces, eh, pero yo le, lo que le aconsejo en este caso es que primero la felicito porque se volvió a inscribir, ¿verdad? Y básicamente pues creo que eso es algo muy bueno, que a pesar que dejamos cierto tiempo, pero no hemos dejado como esa meta que tenemos, ¿verdad? Entonces la felicito que se haya inscrito nuevamente, tal vez el volver a arrancar va a costar un poquito más, pero... Eh, lo va a lograr, va a ir ad adaptándose y se va a ir acoplando. Mis clases tal vez son más como eh, que correcto, yo hago exámenes, que le hago listening, tal vez otras clases pueden ser distintas. Entonces, pero lo importante es que aprenda, que aprenda. Y si usted ha aprendido algo en este módulo, ya casi vamos a terminar, nos falta esa semana y la otra, ya es la última. Si usted ha aprendido algo en este módulo, pues creo que eso es ganancia. ¿verdad? Para usted, más que todo, para que usted vaya al segundo módulo de intermedio ya un poco más eh, con conciencia, ¿verdad? De lo que sería el módulo 2. Entonces, eh, pues básicamente motivarla, que no se vaya a desmotivar, que siga aprendiendo el idioma. El idioma es muy bonito y eh, al principio es complejo, pero media vez usted eh, de verdad a conciencia se ponga a estudiar y participe, Rose, porque es lo más importante, la participación el quitarse el miedo al equivocarse, el quitarse el miedo al que dirán de mí, al quitarse el miedo a, no sé, no sé cómo hacerlo. 
Entonces, eh, en ocasiones, si se fijan, yo pregunto y um, hay personas de que responden súper rápido y hay otras personas, otros estudiantes, que tal vez les cuesta un poquito más. Pero eso no es motivo para que no nos sintamos nosotros eh, con la confianza de participar. Entonces, tal vez la única observación que tengo es que eh, quiero verla que participe más. Quiero que participe, quiero escuchar a Rose, ¿sí? Entonces, eh, tal vez eso. Y pues por lo demás, incentivarla a que siga aprendiendo el idioma, a que no se desmotive, ya que si su meta es aprenderlo, eh, lo va a lograr. Ok, lo va a lograr. Y básicamente, pues, eh, lo ha demostrado que está interesada en aprenderlo, pues volviéndose a inscribir, ¿verdad? Y eso es muy importante. Así que la felicito por eso. Lo único que quiero escucharla participar más, ¿ok? Okay. Vale, perfecto. No sé si tiene alguna pregunta, alguna duda, Rose, con la plataforma, con las tareas, algo que me quiera preguntar. Mm, no, con las tareas, todo está bien. Uh -huh. okay. Igual con la plataforma. También con la plataforma, ok. ¿Tiene alguna duda de algo? No, como le dije en principio, o sea, sí, sí, le logro comprender, ¿verdad? Una cosa es entender, la otra ya ponerlo en práctica. Pero sí, sí de, de entender la estilo de Ok, vale, perfecto. No se preocupe, vamos a seguir practicando. Aquí okay, vamos a seguir practicando todo lo que eh, vemos. Y pues al final va a darse cuenta que algo va a haber aprendido, ¿verdad? Ya que es un proceso, es un proceso el aprendizaje, es un proceso. Ok, así sí. que bueno, eh, muchas gracias Rose, un gusto. Cualquier duda, gracias. algo eh, que usted me quiera preguntar, cualquier cosa, me puede escribir, ¿ok? okay. Okay. I'll see you back tomorrow. Have a good night. Okay? Good night. Good night.